My name is Elon James White, and you are now watching this week in, well, like, the, the last two weeks, like, like this, almost this month, like, okay, some sort of measurement of time in blackness, okay? Yes, I know, it's been a while. going on folks we are back this is episode 14 people episode 14 I know I know it's been it's been a bit a little bit of time okay so you know what instead of just trying to catch up on the last few weeks of blackness you know we're gonna do it right here year in review right now okay we know the holidays are coming up Christmas Kwanzaa we're gonna knock it out right now by the way do you know why I know it's Kwanzaa because white people keep telling me Every year I try to block out Kwanzaa, you know, try to mentally get it out of my mind, but somehow white people just find it hilarious to wish me a happy Kwanzaa. Stop it. I will punch you in the face. I don't celebrate Kwanzaa, and I don't know anyone else who does celebrate Kwanzaa, okay? I'm not celebrating any holiday where you can go, hey, hey, who created this holiday? And someone can go, it's that guy, the guy over there. Yes, the one who was sent to prison for torturing and hostage taking, that guy. Don't worry, I will never celebrate a holiday by George W. Bush either. He wasn't sent to prison for torturing and stuff, but eh, I kind of hold him responsible. You can find us at the website. You can find us at Facebook. You can find us on LiveJournal. You can find us on Twitter. We're, we're everywhere. We're global, man. That's not really global as much as it is just on the internet. It's the end of 2008. There's only one word people are going to think of when they think of this year. Black. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, there are a lot of words that you could use to describe this year. You know, historic, monumental, just Obama. But the fact is, a lot of people are going to think black. Because they're like, holy smoke, we voted a black guy in. And it's totally true. We put in the hands of a black man the highest office of the entire land. I don't know why I got Jesse Jackson on your ass for no apparent reason. I'm sorry. Oh my god, can we totally take a moment of silence for the racists that are still sputtering after the election? People kind of lost their minds, you know? Like one church wouldn't allow their people to take communion, you know? They said it was about the abortion issue, but you know what? Democrats who are pro-abortion have gotten into office before and I didn't hear all of a sudden, you have to make it right with your God. I mean, that totally could have happened, I just didn't hear it. With the Obama presidency comes a very big thing that 2008 will be known for, the end of racism. It's over, it's done, finito. Or so Fox News keeps telling me. Thank you, Fox News, because without you guys, I wouldn't have known that racism was over. I would have just thought that the election of President Obama was basically just a stepping stone and hopefully eradicating the blight of oppression of a people that this country has had on its record for so long. But little did I know that that blight is gone. We're good. Everything's fixed. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go to some of the iffier parts of the South, you know, where they're still rocking shotguns and, and, and like overalls and stuff, and they refer to black people as the niggers. I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna let them know that racism is over so they could, could, they, could they please stop that? I'd appreciate that. I told my mom that racism was over, and then she told me she doesn't love me anymore because I'm obviously stupid. Even with all the joy and happiness of the Obama election, there are still some that just can't, can't deal with this, okay? And then there are some who are losing their shit, i.e. this asshole. Alan Keyes has lawsuits trying to stop the inauguration of President-elect Obama because he's not sure Obama's a real American, you know? Seriously, Alan Keyes, are you still pissed off that Obama snuffed you in that election back in Chicago? Do you really think that this is gonna help your political career, you know, really skyrocket you to the top? I mean, you probably are getting a lot of attention right now because little did we know how much of an idiot you are. Thank God this was thrown out of the Supreme Court because if this was actually really looked at, that would be exactly what I was expecting, actually. Uh, that would that would really fall into place. That would be like, oh, look, they're totally going to take it because they're going to figure out, oh, oh, and now he's a fake citizen, right? Yeah, that's, that's about right. Remember back in episode five when I begged someone to find Tim Wise and give him a hug, you know? 
Could someone this time just kick Alan Keyes in the balls? You know? Just like, just a swift one and didn't run. Because he probably, he's probably going to call the cops. And um, I'm going to deny that this, I mean, this is entertainment. You can't blame me for it. But if you get away with it, <laughs> you're totally going to be on the show.